Okay, lesson 9A. We're going to download the um, photo of the cannon and we're going to open it. And we're going to control zero to fill the screen. Let me get rid of this character thing. All right. Got a nice little cannon photo. We're going to come over first thing and we're going to right click on this layer and we're going to convert it to a smart object. Okay, you'll know that it worked when you see this little box down here in the bottom corner. All right, next step is we're going to go up to filter and blur, and we're going to choose the radial blur. Ooh, definitely hard on the eyes. So maybe we take it up to 15 and hit OK. Well, that might be a bit much. OK, so let's go back and click, double click on where it says radio blur in the layers panel. Let's take that down a bit. It's just a little much. It's going to make it really hard for us to do what we need to do. OK, 7 looks good. And hit OK. All right. So if that's giving you a headache, mission accomplished. All right. So. We're going to now, um, let's see, what are we doing here? Oh, we got our smart filter. That's what we're doing. Took me a second, sorry. So you're gonna click on the little layer that says smart filters. And we've used filter, filters before, so we're gonna paint out the part that we don't want the blur on. Okay, remember, um, use the black, to take it away and the white to put it back. So I go up to my brush. I want to make sure I have a soft edge brush. And I could probably make it a little bit bigger. I want to go more than 40. I think that's probably, oh, that's too big. Let's make that 35. Yeah, that looks good. And then what I'm going to do, click over here, is I'm going to paint out carefully. The cannon. Now, if you mess up, remember you can always switch it and paint it back in. Because remember, you're not affecting the actual layer. You've created a filter layer that's part of a mask. Okay. I'm going to quickly just kind of knock this out. Now, if you're not sure, you can look over here and see what you've painted, or rather, painted out. Okay, we got a wheel here, it looks like, maybe. Put that back in. Get all this stuff going. Okay, I'm gonna fill all that in. I don't want to leave any small pieces of blur in the middle, so be careful you don't do that. And then, again, if you want to get a straight line, click the beginning, hold down shift, and click where you want it to end, and it'll connect the dots. All right, so that looks pretty good. I'm not sure about what's going on up here. Maybe I'll put a little bit more on there. All right, so there are some places where I want to put it back in. So I switch it to white on top, and I just kind of drop some of that back in. Okay, it was hard to see what was going on when I was taking it out. So some of it I took out too much. Okay, I see that there it looks kind of bad. So you just want to clean up around the edge of it. It doesn't have to be perfect. But, you know, get it to where it's pretty good. Um, I might switch it one more time and try and get this one last time. It's tricky because the blur is causing it to sort of duplicate. All right, that looks pretty good. Um, 
now I think if we wanted to go in <clears throat> and adjust the blur a little bit, we could. So then we can take it back up to 10 or we can take it down a little bit. So it, right? But I think you got to give it a little more movement than maybe we'll go to like nine. Nine looks good. All right, very cool. Um, now I think you could probably do it with other blurs as well, but I think it works best with this radial blur and it kind of focuses you in. Um, I, I'm gonna leave it up to you which you know degree you want. We can do it as a zoom, that's kind of cool too. Or we can leave it on spin. Maybe we'll leave it as zoom. Okay, I like that. So that creates movement, it draws your eye into the uh, cannon. And you know, you might even go back and adjust a little bit of this because the zoom changed it just a bit. So very cool. So yeah, radial blur and uh, zoom in, in the radial blur settings. Um, very cool. All right, save it. And oh, we forgot to change the name. Okay, so there, C, O, 9, A. Should have done that first. And save it as a PSD. Export it as a JPEG, and you are done. This is a very quick one. Turn it in, get some points.